Hello YouTube, this is Mr. Beam with another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how we can create a simple 2D detail item for showing the earthing tab. So, as you can see in this um, sheet, we have an overall section of the station. We have two platforms, the upper platform, lower platform, and two lines for each platform and we are going to just um, show the earthing tabs um, different type of earthing tabs um, if we go to the legend you will see the the sign is earthing tab for steel structures the, the, the red one is earthing tab for precast panel and in situ slab type one and type two so the details are actually actually um, on the detailed sheets um, but I'm only going to show you how to create in this family so we can have an option to um, change the color like a cyan green and red so before starting that one I have to mention that this is actually a real project and we are actually going to issue for construction soon so um, that means all the things we're doing in this channel is actually a practical stuff and mostly for a structural so let's get back to work and let's go on the file click on the new and the family on English folder I'm going to find for metric um, not annotation maybe even annotation let's create this one as an annotation well that one is actually a 2d uh, detail item but I want to make it annotation so it would be um, independent from the um, from the scale so let's go to the annotation and go into the metric metric generic annotation and click on OK amazing we can delete this text and let's click on the create and field region so we are going to use a circle and let's just create something for now so um, let's set this radius to one millimeter I'm just zooming inside I'm going to select the outer perimeter and set it as invisible lines and clicking on finish edit mode so I'm going to click it again I'm going to the edit type and I'm going to duplicate it let's call it G for green and let's change the program to this green and click on OK so it's a green and let's click on it again and for visible let's associate a family parameter and as an instance we can call it green and on group parameter under graphics and clicking on ok clicking on ok so let's save the family let's say everything tabs and with the option of maximum one recover file and click on save and I'm going to load it with the project so let's use it inside this legend so because it's a uh, um, generic annotation we have to find it from symbol and if I click on the symbol you can see that everything tabs I'm going to click here and boom it's there it's amazing so um, its size is okay 
and if I want to use it even inside this view the size would be the same so it's independent from the the scale so I think I wish we could use actually these instead of these small ones but I think well somebody done this one and we had to follow the size of this I already told them I mean, whenever we printing this one this would be printed on A3 as a, a dot with one millimeter uh, in diameter because this one is 1 to 200 uh, if, if I click on it and let's type di and click on the diameter so it's 200 1 to 200 200 is 1 millimeter print size who can see it well this is what it is but anyway okay so I don't like this one but I really like this one so let's go and edit this family and adding uh, other um, uh, colors so let's copy this one by typing co and just copy it somewhere here multiple is checked and another one here um, we just move them here because we just want to um, change this color and having the option for switching to their colors but then we will move them back um, to the center line so let's click on this one let's go to the edit type let's duplicate it and call it C for cyan and foreground pattern color let's change it to this color click on OK click on OK click it click again um, so the visible is already associated with some parameter the reason is because we copy pasted this one we have to change it to something else so let's click on the associate family parameter and click on a new parameter as an instance that one was a cyan um, and let's uh, group it as graphics click on ok and click on ok let's click on the third circle go to the edit type duplicate and this time we need red which I'm going to call it as a R and foreground pattern color changing to the red click on OK click on OK and it's red click it on again and let's associate the family parameter a new one for red and setting as an instance the group parameter is graphics and click on OK click on OK so if you go on the properties to the family types you will see that default means that it's actually an instance parameter and these are default settings so we have cyan green and red so um, the value um, always should be one of them checked so we can either check like that check like that if we check both of them so it would be um, just a mess um, so for now let's do it like that but um, in another video I'm going to show you how we can have some formula to control that uh, these visibility so it would be like whenever we're clicking on the cyan the two other will be switched off whenever we're clicking on green the two other will be switched off so for now this is just a simple uh, version of the family let's click on ok let's save it and click on yes and load it to project override the existing version yes so now check it um, if i create a similar so its center is always there which is working fine and let's click on this one let's change it to the cyan and let's change this one to the red it seems that is jumping but i'm not sure why it's jumping so oh 
Yes, I'm sorry. We didn't move them to the See what happened. I'm going to edit it again So we didn't move it to the center. So let's click on this one MV for move So we cannot actually find the center line of that one. So let's do it. Maybe um, Yeah, that's a bad look so it's a bad it's bad because it's we cannot move it precisely so how we can do it so let's edit a sketch and now we can actually move its um, center line to now we cannot move it so how we can move it to the perfectly center is there um, let's click on finish and let me think that how we can do it maybe we can delete this one and deleting also that one i'm going to create it again the field region so we need the red one okay the red one just make sure that it should be invisible lines the red one is already done we can click on okay so which one we are the red one the red one the visible should be on the red okay and let's create another one on the field region and on the circle invisible lines for the subcategory we want um, cyan one and let's click on the visi visible to the cyan and click on ok and now with the radius of one clicking on ok and all done we can save it sorry i just click on something wrong click on save click on yes load it to the project override the existing version and let's check it so i'm going to just create a similar by typing cs and clicking on here let's click on it and change the cyan to green perfect is green let's check the red one amazing it's already done so i'm going to the legend to the legend and even we can just delete whatever we had here and i'm going to annotate symbol earth in tab i'm clicking one here one here and one here so for example this should be green and this should be the red one all done this is the very simple version of uh, this family and just remember sometimes you may make some mistakes but in this video i showed you how we managed to fix that one so no worries and this is the end of the video and thank you so much for watching